with that, oh, welcome back. This is our fourth video of the night. I lied at the end of the last video. <laughs> I really didn't have enough time to actually elucidate or or explain that we might be doing another video. But um, again, this is uh, this is the Reverend. The theme here. And Grey Mouse One. Yep, we are the three middle-aged dudes just bullshitting about nothing. Um, maybe not so much nothing now because this is kind of like a public service announcement. We're going to touch on a rather, I don't know if it's a touchy subject, but it's a, it's, it's a very common subject, especially now. Everybody's connected to the internet. Everybody's connected to some sort of social website or social outlet one way or another. Um, and that subject that we're going to touch on is the subject of cyber bully. Okay. Um, <laughs> just, uh, just those words don't go together, man. Those two words well, are just... Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Have we, have we, as a society, come to this now? Well, okay. Here's the thing. Uh, on one hand, there's um, there's there's a, a certain practicality to the term, and there's a certain practicality to the, to the occurrence, because you got kids who aren't even in grade school who are running around with fucking smartphones already. Okay, and it's like this is and tablets. Yeah, and tablets. You know, that's that's their 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 first entertainment device. That's the first place that they, they sit there and learn how to go ahead and expose themselves to media, whether or not it's video, audio, video games. You know, they may even make themselves their own social website um, profile. Um, what a grade schooler needs a Facebook page for, I don't know. Um, same reason why I don't know why a grade schooler should be running around with a smartphone. But I'm... You know, I'm a near 40-year-old dude, so I'm just kind of removed from that. Um, <laughs> seriously, I, I mean, we used to go outside and talk to people face-to-face. -face, you know? Go outside and ring a doorbell. Hey, can you come out and play? Yeah, do stuff like that, you know? <laughs> go but, to a park and be social. Yeah, you know, and, in, and in those instances, if we got bullied, we knew what was going on because it was right there. You know, yeah. um, with cyberbullying now, I'm not sure if it's a, if it's a, a direct consequence or a side effect of the internet. Not just the internet, but also the way that kids are brought up nowadays. Right. Nobody, nobody can be offended. Guess what? Being offended doesn't mean shit. Okay, it really doesn't. In fact. In the right instances, being offended is actually a good thing, okay? So, I mean, maybe that maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm old-fashioned. I don't know. What do you guys think? Oh, uh, and by the way, before we really delve deep into this, if you're offended by what we're talking about, fuck you. Just hit the X button. X. X. <laughs> or the back, key, the back, or something. Look, see how it's over here. <laughs> uh, all right. see, this is where, see I, this how is where I don't understand. That's how simple it is. If you don't like something, don't look at it. Don't yeah. buy it. Don't all right, look. Elementary school, junior high school, and if it gets to high school, yeah, you got some ma world major minor problems. But being bullied is being cornered. Shaking down for your lunch money, getting wedgied or getting a sign that says "kick me," put on you daily, swirlies, yeah, it's something like that, <laughs> and that is a physical matter. And online, it's like, okay, you can ignore that shit, you can erase that shit. If you choose, and it's a choice to be hurt by words to be hurt by online things. It's like, damn, you were hurt. Was what your opposition said true? 
I, I look, here's the thing about bullying online, cyberbullying. If I text, if I get my phone out, and if I text either you, give me your watch. I'm cornering you. I have you. <laughs> you are you are staring at me with fear, motherfucker. <laughs> give me your shit. As a matter of fact, make me a fucking ha- make me a cheese sandwich. Look, then make me a ham and cheese sandwich. Motherfucker, I said with cheese. Bitch. <laughs> if your watch disappears and appears on my arm, if that sandwich automatically comes and says, and if I say, I said with cheese, I said hold the fucking mayo, then I can understand cyberbullying. I can, I can understand that. But people saying that it's hurting their self-esteem, I'm like, wait a minute. It's called self-esteem for a reason. For one, two, nothing physical is happening to you. No one is right there. You can't. How are you fucking getting bullied by strangers? How these people don't know you? They can say anything to you, and you just be like, um, yeah, that's not true. I don't have to listen to that shit, or block them, or something like that. It's it's just the fact that people are taking people are blowing this out of proportion, and it's not just children. These are full. Fucking grown adults. Well, self-proclaimed grown adults. They oh. say that they're grown, but they can't handle criticism. They can't handle words. <laughs> and they call it bullying or they call it harassment. And I'm like, no, this is not bullying. This is not harassment. These are just either trolls or people know how to push your buttons and they're doing it. And they're allowing you. Yeah. And you're allowing that to happen if you're getting hurt by it. Okay. Oh. For, 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 for example here. <laughs> Okay, in, in Southern California, there's a place there's a place called Knott's Berry Farm, an amusement park. Now, every October, around Halloween, it gets turned into Knott's Scary Farm. They have these tunnel slanted uh, slash haunted houses, and you go in. Now, these motherfuckers are meant to scare you. These motherfuckers are meant to make you jump. These motherfuckers are meant to frighten you. If you just walk through with a straight face, laugh. They're not going to follow you anymore because you figure that these motherfuckers are no threat. If you're one that goes, oh, shit, guess what? They're going to fuck with you. They're going to bother you. They know how to push your buttons, and they're going to do it for kicks, for laughs. They look for prey. You become a fucking victim due to circumstance. So they're going to keep tracking you. They're going to keep following you. They're going to keep fucking with you. You let this happen. <laughs> it's not just the fact that it's just only kids. It's grown-ups. People in their fucking 30s, people that are in college are getting affected by this. And this is what I don't understand. And I'm like, you're getting bullied? By who? By what? How? Words? You can't get over words? And you're trying to get yourself ready for real life? What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, People claim disability for Twitter, remember? Well, no. PTSD? Let me, yeah. Oh. Let, me, let me go ahead and, and elaborate, okay? Because there, there are certain things that, that do legitimately fall into the range of harassment and bullying. Like when somebody's going out of their way and pursuing somebody to, to go ahead and do something uh, or, or to just going out of the way to make their fucking day worse than it is, then yeah, that's pretty legitimate. The dumb thing that's happening with a lot of young people nowadays, especially since they have these and they have cameras on them, is that teenagers decide to go ahead and send stupid pictures of themselves, either clothed, unclothed, or otherwise, um, and that shit gets out on the net. All right. Yeah, wait a minute. I, you know, that that right there, I got to say, is it's something where it's like, look, you, there's, there's a bit of common sense. There's a separation between common sense and, and what's going on here that I don't think a lot, of, uh, a lot of folks who end up in this predicament, you know, you realize that they, they've got a lack of, okay? Um, the... The problem with a lot of the folks that are out there harassing is that it's with this being online, you know, with this and everything else, it's really easy to do, you know, and 
unfortunately, it only takes two minutes to go ahead and ruin somebody's fucking day. No. Well, you know, one thing too is uh, like, you know, doxing somebody, you know, having the F or swatting somebody, have the FBI, you know, come storming through my door over here because they don't like what I'm saying. You know, I, I think that pushes them a little too far. There should be, but they are, but they are, um, you know, there should be, pre there should be um, ramifications for that. Yeah. Absolutely. There should be repercussions for that. Yeah, absolutely. Period. Yeah. And everybody should be punished by the law if there's something, especially if it's totally false. Especially because, if it, yeah, infringing on somebody's, you know, privacy. And that's perjury, for one. Yeah, absolutely, man. Yeah. But, I mean, just, just by what gets me, let's get back on this, this cyberbullying bullshit, is bullshit. when, the reason why I call it bullshit is this. When I tell the theme, you're wrong, you suck, your opinion sucks. And, <laughs> you know, triggered. triggered. You're now triggered because I don't agree with your opinion. You know, come on. I, I should still, I should not be thrown in jail because my opinion is, is opposite of yours. No, and that's one thing that we want to go ahead and point out is that yeah, having, exactly. having a, a disagreement or, you know, actual discourse or dismayed, debate over something. I was about to meld two different words. It wasn't <laughs> going to be too great taste to taste great together. Um, <laughs> you know, having, having discussion and shit about with somebody, whether it's heated or not, that's not harassment. Okay. That's, that's one thing that I, I can't fucking stand. Okay. If somebody sits there and, and tells me, um, Hey, uh, I think you're better off doing this uh, because of blah, 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 blah. And I tell them, hey, I don't think you know what my life is like. And the reason why this is not happened is because of these things that are actually in front of me. All right. Um, you know, thank you, but kindly fuck off. I'm not harassing the other person. No. <laughs> you know? That's well, it, I guess they feel those people that are getting – Triggered. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I can't even think. It, it's, it, it's because they can't accept somebody else having a different opinion than theirs. If, but the, wait if a the theme says the but sky is blue, but then I say, no, it's not theme, it's yellow. Yeah. But here's the thing. Most, some of it is not opinion. Some of it is fact that's being told to these people, and they still can't take it yeah and so they call her they, well, they say don't want to be wrong they say it's bullying and it's like but i presented evidence yeah. bullying wouldn't fly in court well period <laughs> if, if that be the case judges should go to jail if it was really the case of motherfuckers are uh, uh, bullying, 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 getting shaken down and your confidence is affected and anything like that, no. This is about feelings being hurt and putting feelings over facts, putting oh. feelings over narrative, putting feelings over biology. But I got a question then. Say again? Whole, I got a question then. So what's the whole point of, of going to court then? So is the attorney bully the the witness that's my point how is it no point how is that bullying no point. you that attorney is paid to do that yeah. for one. and they are presenting the truth or what they perceive as truth in order to get the client proved innocent or the other person proved guilty it's the thing just, is when you get hold into a situation where it's like you're staring at facts. You're staring at two plus two is four. Oh. Everybody knows two plus two is four. And, and you have these people over here saying, no, it's not. Two plus two is six. Just because they don't like the number four doesn't make it true. That doesn't make it not that, true. That, that was the point that I was making. Yeah. So you don't like the way the number four looks like because it's racist. Sexist, oh no! Number four looks like <laughs> it, it looks like someone bent over and 
and somebody, uh, 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 uh. no, I'm triggered. The number four is so sexist because it looks like fucking. Or what about no. what about the number six or the nine? You know, six or nine. You know, I mean, for hey, I'm just saying. No, but seriously, if you're offended, I mean, it it just it blows my mind that somebody will throw out reason reason because of their out feelings. The window. I mean, completely well, out, out the window. window. Because they don't like what the four looks like. Okay, uh, for well, example, um, I remember sitting on this very spot addressing the Shenmue 3 Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. That was one of my first videos that I ever put up. And the thing about it is, I went online and I went to a couple of gaming websites. And that journalists, in other words, anti-Gamergate supporters, was reporting bullshit about this. And I went and I was like, look, and I spat out everything that was fact about the situation. And people put up their roadblocks just because the game wasn't going to their console of choice. And I'm like, but what I'm saying is true. If, and there's no excuse. If you would go for five fucking minutes and look at the history of what I'm saying, study what I'm, or, or if, I'm, if I'm saying anything that's just logical, common sense, and you'll be, and certain people that are open-minded were like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. I, I, I hear you there. That, but there, there's the opposite that just drives motherfuckers nuts that they put their feelings, well, I don't like this. No, it, it can't be this way. I don't like it this way. So it can't, no, fuck that. And it's like this because I don't like it. Well, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna point out that um, if if the viewers who are watching this video haven't figured out, um, that is not legitimate bullying. <laughs> All right. If if somebody disagrees with you, that's not legitimate bullying. The one no. thing, the 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 things that are that actually kind of concern me is like when when somebody is actually getting you know dogpiled on. And it's really easy, especially in like uh, Facebook or whatnot. Somebody goes ahead and puts something up or somebody says something stupid or, or, or somebody goes out, out of their way and they, they post dumb shit about a person. Hey, now, and wait a minute. All of a sudden you have other people going ahead and dogpiling on them. You know, hey, now, wait a minute. Were the creators of the Coleco Chameleon being bullied? No. Uh, when no. They were get, that's my point. Yeah, they, they, were getting, they, they were getting bullied. But, you know, I mean, stuff like... Like, oh, hey, look, this is me getting my uh, getting my 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 haircut, right? And then somebody popping up and saying, "You look stupid," and then having other people go out of their way to go ahead and do. do yeah, you know thing. what? You do look stupid. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it causes a chain uh, a chain reaction. But okay? the thing is, though, the thing mentioned this earlier, it's called self esteem for a reason. <laughs> well, the the. The problem, the problem with with kids, all right. Hey, it's not just kids; it's even people in college. Like well, I, I understand, I understand kids. I understand people who are who are you know, like you oh, said, middle school, grade school. The the problem it, with people in general is that when shit like this happens, is that there's one or two things that one or two things that are going on. All right, either somebody can go ahead and brush it off, or somebody can go ahead and they're gonna it's going to weigh on, all right? Now, no matter how well you brush it off, there's always going to be something that's going to, going to kind of weigh on you. Unfortunately, the way, that, the way that people deal with things now, more often than not, yeah. they're going to be dealing with something like this if they even bring it up with somebody else online. And I'm sorry, you know what? That's what you need real in-person friends for, okay? Well, see, let, let me tell you something. Actually, I... Uh, I know a person that actually committed suicide because of um, of online harassment. It, okay. Just he, it, like you said, it weighed on. I mean, this is this is really serious. You know, it weighed on him, and for so long, it just he just he just gave up. I mean, I'm, I I I'm not trying to sympathize with with this, you know, but no, actually, sympathy sympathy about it is actually a good thing. That means you're fucking human. All right. Um, but generally speaking, I, I mean, there's what I'm 
when we're talking about cyberbullying and everything else, there's, there's, it's not just like teasing and other things. It's also intimidation and other stuff. And a lot of, a lot of bullies in real life are using social media to bully people that they know in person. All right. And the, the problem with the thing about um, bullying in person is that if you ask anybody, anybody around whether or not bullying somebody online is easier than bullying somebody in person, it which absolutely they actually is. did, 80 per, 81% of the, uh, of the people that they asked said, yeah, it's easier to go ahead and bully somebody online. But you don't have no and, ramifications at all. Yeah. They're, and the they're other thing is, quote, anonymous. Yeah. The other thing is, is that uh, 80% of them thought it was easier also to hide online bullying from parents than in-person bullying. All right. Because the reason, reason being is that, you know, generally speaking, there's not a lot of stuff that you're going to sit there and read online from anybody that's going to leave a mark. All right. Now, I, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not to say that, um, uh, uh, it's not not to say that you know we're we're surrounded by a bunch of pussies. Um, if that was the case, the human the human race wouldn't survive. All right. Hey, um, it is going downhill very very rapidly. Yeah, but there's for for the folks who might actually go ahead and actually watch this video and think that we're we're just callous assholes. You know, look if if that sort of thing is going on, that's something that you need to talk to somebody about in person. Okay, and because it's. It happens to everybody, all right? In fact, there's some interesting things that we, we've got here. I got this uh, page up from, uh, let me go ahead and, and share it to you guys. It's called uh, Internet Safety 101. It's, this is really uh, germane and urbane type stuff, all right? You know, and it has a whole bunch of cyberbullying statistics, okay? Like, the the one thing about like bullying, seeing somebody get bullied in, in a public space, at least as far as social media goes, the upside to it is that if other people see it, they're actually more likely to help you out than if they see it in person. How fucked up is that? Okay. If you think about it. All right. Cause if I, I'm hoping that if somebody sees somebody actually on me in person, that instead of busting out their cell phone and taking a fucking video that they would help. I, I'm hoping that they would help me. All right. You're a male. So you will not get help. Um, it's the, the funny thing about that is that it doesn't matter if you're male or female. All right. It, Most of the it, time. It is true that, yeah, people will, people will sit there and, and say something to, to help a female. On that note, what's funny is that, let's see here. Uh, in, in regards to the, to the people that, um, that, uh, that actually, you know, go out of the way to bully, it says, let's see here. Um, more girls are cyber bullies than boys, 59% over 41%. And that's what's reported and research. Uh, that's from the teen on online and wireless safety survey, cy cyber bullying that was done in 2009. So wait, so, so when wait, it comes you, said to, that, you said that more women are cyber bullies. More girls. Bullies. Yes. They are, there are more women that are cyber bullies. Than yes. Me. All right. And the funny thing is, is that there's also another, another statistic around that I, I've seen that saying that, you know, women are more likely to get bullied than, than men. Guess what? They're most likely bullied by another lady. Right. So don't tell me that, don't, don't sit there and throw this, oh, it's because there are a lot of asshole dudes around. Yeah, there are a lot of asshole dudes there around. There are, you know what? but. Come on. Much as asshole women or yeah, women. I, I'm going to tell you right now, as far as a lot of the, the dudes that I know that are on social media, a lot of them are thirsty too. All right. <laughs> so yeah. they, they tend to be on their best behavior. All right. <laughs> so uh, the, the, the thing about it is it, on, on, a, on a more serious note is that, yeah, this is one of those things where it's like, you can't sit there and, and pigeonhole it into to one thing but, well, or you know, one type of person or sex or, 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 well, ethnicity or anything like the thing that. that. See, the whole problem with this is that when Zoe Quinn and that bitch Anita Sarkeesian went to the UN bullying, and, and bullying harassment, harassment <laughs> against girls and, and, you know, and, and she, she made, she mentioned, that it's just everyday grind of being of saying that you suck. Should yeah. we cover Gamergate? 
at, uh, any point. at one point we should at some point not not in this particular video but no I, i'm not talking about in this video yeah. but, I'm, but no i mean it see it got that the stupidity got all the way up to the u.n and 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 the u.n still how do you not, why, wait that's where we have to spend all her kickstarter money hang on hang on correct me if i'm wrong the UN still has not released that that paper as of today. That that they were supposed that they there's no way that they can revive revise that in order for that shit to make a hundred percent sense. Yeah, and, exactly. So that's yet to be released. But somehow, you, you know, this this the safe safety and and trust bullshit happened with with Twitter. You know, this is getting way out of hand. It's, it's, it's come to a point to where motherfuckers need to just unplug themselves from the internet. If they're that fucking offended, all you gotta do is turn off your computer, turn off your cell phone, you know, unplug. I don't understand how people want to criticize, but they can't stand well, critics. What really kills me is this. We came from an age where there was no internet. All of us, we, you know, here in this conference, we came from an age where there was no internet. So... But these people that are cyber bullied or whatever, you know, have had the internet since they've been born. You know, they had one of these since they, they've been born. They had a tablet. So, I mean, it's, I guess it's more impacting them than, than us. One of the other things, too, like the Reverend said earlier, is how kids are being brought up these days. You got to understand that, okay. Punishments are not being dealt out like they were back then. That's well, you why. can't because well, the Child Protection even, Agency will be on your ass. No, it's it's not even it's not even punishment. It's it's the fact that you know the the folks who are in charge of things want to think that it's a good idea to insulate kids to the point where it's like, oh, I got to put a safety warning on fucking toilet paper so you don't get a paper cut on your asshole. All right. <laughs> Um, and if they well, do, it's not your fault. Yeah, and if you do, it's not your fault. It's like the the problem with with a lot of uh, a lot of uh, younger younger folks are, that are brought up is that you know th this is the problem with trying to insulate too much. All right, guess what? Trial and error is a big part of growing up. All right, and figuring out what the fuck works in order for you to survive as a human being. All right. And because of that, you you can't sit there and say, oh, I'm just going to make a safe space where there's not going to be any sort of negativity except for the idle thoughts and boredom that you cook up in your head. And since nobody's there to disagree with you, you can decide to go ahead and grow psychopathic or sociopathic about those things. There is no right? way you will survive in a workplace environment that's, like that's that. Just being narcissistic, man. Seriously. Hey, now, wait a minute. I'm a, I'm a narcissist. Come on, you see my shit. But my point is, there is no way that you will survive in a lot of places with that mentality. Well, that, I mean, just, just like we said, you know, I mean, you touch a hot stove. You know, we've probably all done it as a kid. We touched a hot stove, and guess what? It burned. We learned our lesson. Don't touch the stove while it's hot. You remember. Yeah, you know. It's it's a good thing, all right. It's just it's just that you know maybe I don't know maybe the moral compasses are all fucked up right now. What moral compass? That, that's well, what I'm saying. About a moral yeah. compass to these people are well, they want to speak and they don't want to have any opposition. Yeah. Well, the funny thing is, is that when you sit there and you talk about moral compass, I'm under the the thought that the the moral compass. On, on people in general has been pretty fucked up all throughout the ages, all right? So, no, because, you know, people will sit there and say, oh, no, you, you blame it on leaders, you blame it on a religion, you, you blame it on whatever, ever. but the thing is, people have been fucked up all throughout history, so mm -hmm. well, no, 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 no. all of that stuff and, you yeah, know, let me, yeah, let me, let me say this. Up, you know? Yeah, so let me say it straight. I'm not talking about religion or anything. I'm just talking about right from wrong. That's all I'm talking about. No, I, I mean, the, the thing... I mean, you know, you know it's not right to go to somebody's house and steal their shit that don't belong. You know, you know it's not right to kill somebody. Yeah, well, no, you, you, know it's, you know it's not right to do certain things if somebody's taught you that. 
Right. Okay. Valid point. All right. If if you sit there and you steal something and I see you as a little kid and I smack your hand and I take you take you back to the place where you stole it from and say apologize to that fucking clerk. Absolutely. You know, uh, right there in front of everybody in the fucking store, you're going to learn not to ever fucking do that. Yeah. All right. I know it's happened to me. But parents but, are going to do that. about it is that can be considered emotional abuse now, which yeah. is absolutely ridiculous. Yeah. And that's, that's part of, like and you said, part of, the, part of the issue with the modern way that a lot of, a lot of younger folks are, are brought up. You know, I, I mean, the, the silly thing too, is that a lot of the, a lot of these things would be mitigated, can be mitigated if, if I think people actually had a better, uh, a lot of people had a better grasp to actually communicate with each other face to face. All right. I agree. And, and you could blame the, the, you know, the internet. I mean, you can blame many, many different things. It's, it's not just the internet. It's other things too. What I'm saying is at this particular point in time, we are more connected with each other than we have ever been since the dawn of, of, of you know, human history. And yeah. but the think, thing about it is, but there's not a lot of, but the thing is though, there's not a lot of FaceTime no more. Nope. There, families are not talking no more. One, my sister's doing this, my brother's doing this, my father's doing this, and, and, and my, you know, my mother's doing this, you know? It, it's funny because that's like, okay, but even back then until now, if someone says to me, hey, fuck you, I'm just going to go come into America on them. Yes, yes, <laughs> fuck you too. <laughs> I'm not well, going to care. No, no, but the, thing, the point that I'm making is, is that there's no face, like, you know, the reverend said, mentioned, there's no face to face no more. There's no, you know, like, like our, our bullies in our, I mean, I'm not saying that there's still not, you know, bullies at school or whatnot. But the only bullies that we had to deal with, you know, were the, the physical kind, you know, the, the ones that get up in your face and the one that you could actually physically hit and hurt. Nowadays, they got, so these kids growing up, they got these physical ones. Then they got the internet. You suck. I don't agree with you. Fuck you. Your, your, your mom is a whore. You know, they, you know what I mean? So it, different age, I guess. But yeah, but even in person words and reading texts or reading emails, you let that shit affect you, and it's like, okay, why? Well, even my my whole point is that even if you let it affect you, uh, whatever varying degrees or whatnot, the the one thing that helps um, mitigate or deal or process with these types of things, whether or not it's positive or negative is talking with somebody about it okay and people don't fucking talk to each other anymore mm -hmm. you know, that's that's just a sad fact of uh but of see now it, now you know the feelings over everything else has even gone into little league sports oh yeah no i think i think I, like, like i said right at the beginning whether when it comes to like the whole safe space thing and, and not being offended or anything like that that is not that's that's not valid. Guess what? You know, and 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 sitting there and trying to set set yourself in a place where you're completely separate from separated from that. That's not good for you as a human being. No. All right. Look, if you're gonna learn how to climb a fucking tree, you're gonna experience falling down on your ass too. Okay. <laughs> Until just, you I'll, find the right way in order to get up or, there. You know, yeah. simple as riding a bike. Yeah. Or riding yeah. a skateboard. Yeah. It, guess what? You're gonna scrape your fucking knee. All right. You're gonna. You're gonna run into something. That's just how it is. You know? <laughs> yep. <All> right. <laughs> yep. I mean, hey. it's same same deal with human interaction. When you're going out there and you're dealing with different people, some people are gonna be nice open roads that are really really smooth. Other people are gonna act like that fucking parked car that you just ran into. All right. <laughs> That's just how it is. Okay. Doesn't doesn't mean that. It doesn't mean that, you know, something's wrong with you. You just got to go ahead and process it. So next time you go ahead and you, you see that parked car or you see that, that person, guess what? You know how to go ahead and circumvent that, okay? If that's not something that you could deal with directly, you can go around it. That's just how, how it's supposed to be, you know? 
You see, losing builds character, ass whooping builds character. Regardless yeah. of how anybody says otherwise, yeah. it fucking does. <laughs> Look, I mean, I'll, I'll be completely fucking honest. I was bullied as a little kid because that was the undersized asthmatic kid who sat on the corner of the fucking field while everybody was playing kickball. All right? Yeah, it's happened to me. Everyone so, wanted me on their team. I was just that athletic. You know? athletic. <laughs> but, I mean, is that is that going to happen so much now? No. I I think I'm, I'd be much sooner, if anybody decides to ever put their hands on me like that again, I'd, I'd, I'd much sooner stab them or break their arm before any of that happens. <laughs> No. Yeah, especially. But <laughs> yeah, but that's that's just because that's how I've grown up. All right, you know. <laughs> um, not to say that I, I'm maladjusted or anything. I, I hope I don't come off that way. Uh, <laughs> but that's the thing about you know when people that were bullied as they're younger and then they grow up and you know they learned you know back then and then they grew up and then they learn to do a couple of things. They even learn how to fight or make a lot of fucking money. <laughs> yeah, or make a lot of fucking friends. Yes. <laughs> you know? And it's like, you know, again, that's character that was built. And some people are being babied as kids and as adults. There, there. Everything is going to be okay. Participation trophies. <sighs> Safe spaces with pillows, blankets, and videos of fucking puppies. It is not about an intellectual space. It is not. It's about building a home here. Um, bitch, you're at a college. Look, as, as much as as much as somebody pays for a university nowadays, all right. I, what I, about they're oppressed? Yeah, you know, I mean, I, I, you know, with the things that I know now, I'd probably much rather buy a house. But hey. You know, Yes. If you think about how that goes right now, we're re really way off the beaten path of the original. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, okay, it's cyberbullying. It's still it's still full circle though, man. Yeah, yeah. but oh, is it? Gosh. But do you agree that cyberbullying is actually a thing that should be as blown out of proportion as it is? Do I th do I think bullying should uh, bullying in general is something that uh, government needs to go ahead and walk in and, and, and drop a nuke of legislation on? No. <laughs> Especially not the UN. All right? Mm -hmm. Anybody? No. All right. So with the last 30 seconds, this is Reverend. This is the theme here. This is Gray Mouse One. Hit subscribe. Hit like. Hit dislike. Leave comments below. Close Please. this out, theme. Credits. <laughs>